are here to do more of our collection. Yes, indeed. So we are trying to go through our collection and show you guys an in-depth look at what we actually have rather than doing a traditional collection video. Yeah. We have a lot. Because we have a lot. We do and a lot. Yeah. Yeah. We just want to show you guys what we have. So if you haven't mm. seen any of our other collection videos, I will link the playlist down below. Yep. So you can be nosy like we're nosy. Yes, we yes. are. Yes. All right, you ready? You, you go first. She has more than me. All right, I'm gonna like normal. Like normal. I'm gonna start off with my palettes. Um, one of them being the first blush, blush palette that I ever purchased, and this is the Coastal Scents 10 Blush Palette. As you can see, there are a ridiculous amount of shades in here. And they gorgeous. And they are gorgeous. I bought this for I think it was like 9.99 or 8.99 or something like that on their website. And you just have all kinds of shades, anywhere from like pinks to like freaking bright, bright, ugh, bright ass like Barbie pinks. And then you got like this is a red color, stuff like that. Just natural shades. Very pretty, very well worth it. I was like 10 bucks, less than $10 on the Coastal Sense website. I want to get that. This is the e.l.f. blush palette. I have mine in light. I have mine in dark. These are fantastic. My favorite mm -hmm. shade is surprisingly this one right here, this really pretty mm -hmm. orangey shade. Like, I don't know what it is about this, but it looks super awesome on the face. I it love it. Face. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but then I put it on my face and I was like, <laughs> These are super pigmented and these are usually $6. Yes, and when they go on sale, yes. They are three dollars. Yes, but you can find them at Walmart and Target for like six bucks, and then the Elf website if they have a sale for like yeah. three. Yeah. I this is this. the Tarte Pinup Girl palette. This one came out for the holiday stuff. I will not miss the holiday palette next. 2015 season. or 2014 was this one. Sorry if I'm blinding you guys, but it's beautiful. I don't know what the shades are in this, just because that little plastic sheeting I accidentally threw it away. So all I know is this is the Pinup Girl palette, and these are pretty much. Aside from one in a palette Jessica got me, mm -hmm. um, these are my only Tarte blushes. I But I do love them. I don't have any singles, but I do love these. These are absolutely stunning. They really are. Okay. My next little blushy palette guy is this one by Lancome. This is the Blush Subtle Palette in Menage a Trois Glow. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Saucy. Look at this guy. This guy is extra shimmery right there. It's pretty. See, beautiful. These are just beautiful, dark, amazing colors. This is a little highlight color. And this is sort of a paler pink. Sorry for my swatches. They're all wonky right now. Wonky woo. But I love this guy, and I won this on Listia. Um, I think it's like 40 bucks at Sephora, which, hello, I won it on Listia for free. Hey, bow free. All right, so the next palette I have to show, I'm a terrible person and I don't know the names of all these blushes. Um, this is my MAC blush palette. Um, basically the only one that I'm 100%, there's two of them that I'm 100% sure on what the names are, and that is this one right here, which is the MAC blush and taupe, which I use as a contour shade. And then this is margin right here. This is more of a peachy, shimmery one. That's margin. The rest of them, we'll go ahead and link the names down below. I'll make sure I get the names. So that way I can, you know, tell y'all what I got. But these, um, I buy, I buy MAC blushes more so like this. I have a few like regular size ones, but I buy them more so like this because they're like $16, which yeah. is way cheaper. And then you can build yourself a blush palette. Ooh, fancy. Fancy, fancy. I have my, um, this is my one and only Tarte Amazonian clay blush that's not in like an, uh, like a kit. Mm -hmm. Which I'll show the kits and the palettes. Yeah. Um, this is the shade Dazzled. Mm -hmm. This is one Sarah here picked up in a blog sale. I did. There's the color right there. This is a gorgeous. And I love it. She picked this up at a blog sale and she gave it to me because she's nice. I try. And she's, she's sweet. And she she's was always talking about those blushes. and Yeah. Yeah. So when I saw there was one for sale, I was like, okay, doing it. This is just a beautiful natural shade, and it doesn't swatch really well. Like, it doesn't swatch really for anything, mm -hmm. but when it goes on your face, I mean, hello heaven. It's so perfect, and it is, did I say the shade? Dazzled. Dazzled. I'm dazzled every time I put this on my yes. face. So dazzled. All right, so because I think I have more than her, I'm gonna talk about all of these at once. Just run through them. These are my individual MAC blushes I have four. I have this one, which is in um, Sun Basque. Very pretty, like, coppery. 
almost like a cinnamony color. Oh, pretty. Very pretty. I love this one. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it, and I do love that. And then I have this one, which is Breezy. This is a sheer tone shimmer blush. These are not sheer. They are very dark. This one was also a sheer tone blush. They're not sheer at all. I don't know why they call them that, but this is a very beautiful, deep, more sort of like berry wine color. I love it. And then my two favorite blushes, this one right here is uh, Dainty, so pretty. which is one of their mineralized blushes. I love this. It's more of a baby pink, very natural, very pretty looking on your cheeks. Very pretty. And then, yes, this guy who everybody and their mama on YouTube talks about, and this is Warm Soul. Warm Soul is absolutely stunning. Like, oh my God, I never would have thought a blush like this, I would like it. But when the girl at Mac put this on my cheeks, I was like, girl, yeah, yeah, it's I was done. there. Yeah, it's I saw done. the love form in her eyes when she looked at herself. Yeah, Just it was done. It was over. <laughs> I had to own it. This blush right here, this is the Benefit Bella Bomba box blush. Kind of an awkward way to hold it. There it is, right there. Try not to blind you. Uh, my understanding is that this has been discontinued, which is devastating because this is a stunningly beautiful pink, like it's a beautiful cool tone pink with um, like gold glitter in it. Okay. And I just like, I love this one so much. It's so pretty. It just goes really well with any makeup look. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. But I bought this as a part of a set and when I bought this, the girl there was like, this is our last one. So I think I may have bought the last one in that, that our also. city. Forever. All right, so now to talk about the last, I have a handful of high-end blushes, but not that many. Not as many as most people. So now to talk about the last couple of high-end blushes I have. I have this, which is a um, Smashbox Blush Rush in Ginger Snap. This is another cinnamon -y color. I get this from my mom. Like, my mom loves blushes like this, so I do too. Um, I actually won this on Listia, so there's nice. no way to be 100% sure. People put in their auctions 100% authentic. But there's no way to be 100% sure that it yeah. is, in fact. But um, yeah, no, it's a very pretty blush. I love it a lot. What Thank you got, Dom? What you got? All right, my last tie in blush is also my newest baby. And um, this, we're going to be doing a haul. Yeah, we are soon. Just to show what we got. And this is my I Urban like the Decay name. Afterglow blush. Eight hour powder blush in the shade Quickie. All their blushes are super sexual named, and I love it. There it is right there. This is gorgeous. It does not go on this color on your cheeks. I mean, you can build <laughs> in this color, but it, it's not going to go on like that. <coughs> this is such a beautiful, cool-toned, bright pink. It is gorgeous right there. I love it, and this lasts on my skin all day long. All day. All day, every day, day, day. All day, every day. And I, yeah, I had to have this one. There were a bunch of shades I was looking at, but I saw that one and I was like, quickie, don't mind if I do. All right, so this next one I'm gonna talk about is a gift with purchase that I received because I bought a Laura Geller highlighter. So Ulta just busted out this little gift for me. I was like, sweet. This is the Laura Geller Blush and Brighten in Pink Grapefruit. It's very pretty. It's very shimmery. I haven't used it yet because right after I got it, I ended up going away for some training for a week. So I haven't even had a chance to use it. But it's gorgeous right there. I think oh, it could come off as a highlighter. Highlight or a blush topper? I don't know that it's necessarily a blush for me. Like it's kind of a peachy pink but, beautifulness. You know, looking at it on my hand is not gonna really help because I've been in training in the desert for the last week. So my hands are literally, you can't tell, but my hands are literally dark brown and the rest of my body is my regular color. This is oh, actually an eyeshadow. This is a Milani um, powder eyeshadow in shocking pink. And I picked this guy up at Zadala Dollar Tree, y'all. Zadala Dollar Tree. And this is kind of a lot like that Urban Decay blush, actually. I'm not doopity doopity it. Doopity doops. This is, here, I'll swatch it next to it. Oh no, it's not, it's not as pigmented, but it's still like very pretty. But they are very similar. Let's yeah. see there. Let's see. What y'all think? Kind of, kind of, kind of, but um, yeah, this I picked up at the Dollar Tree and I saw it, I was like, you know what, it's a dollar and I'm gonna try it as a blush. And I like it. 
It doesn't obviously come off this color. It's not as pigmented as that Urban Decay one, but mm -hmm. it is really pretty and it gives a nice like pinkness to your cheeks. And it was Adela. Okay, so for my last high-end blush, I think. Nope, 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 I lied, I got one. Such a liar. I am a liar. <laughs> so <laughs> So for my second to last high-end blush, I have this little baby of uh, NARS Deep Throat. This I got on eBay. You'll notice like on some of my stuff I bought on like eBay and stuff like that. So there's no way to be 100% sure that it is authentic. You just take the seller's word for it right here. Please don't mind the way my nails look. I know they look atrocious. Trust me, I'm getting a manicure after a week in the desert. All I did was training all week. Look like crap. Anywho, deep throat. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I really love this one. It's very pretty, like very pretty peachy pink kind of shade right there. Oh, pretty. I love this one. Bought it on eBay for way too much money for that tiny, tiny, tiny little thing. If I remember right, that was right when she, you first got into makeup, it wasn't was. it? And yep. you were just like, this is an excellent deal. And then you got it in the mail and you were like, this is small as fuck. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> okay, and she then the last one I have, I bought off of a blog sale, the same blog sale. I got that tart blush. We bought these from, some of you guys may know this YouTuber, Young, Wild, and Polished. Bought these from her last summer, and this is the Buxom True Hue Blush in Shangri La. -la. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. This is a like a, a mauvey purple, and it's it's absolutely beautiful for like um, fall and winter time. Yeah. But you know, I'll wear it whenever I don't really give a damn. I'll yeah. wear it when I want to wear Ain't it. No rules in makeup, y'all. So. This is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. This is a beautiful like orangey peach color yes, with wonderful amazing shimmers there it is right there this has a following on youtube people adore it and there's a reason yes, it's because is. it's gorgeous especially gorgeous. in the summertime because it's just so stinking pretty stinking pretty y'all it's so pretty if you can see it on my wrist right there yeah kind of right there i love this blush i bought this blush one t one night when i tricked my husband <laughs> into going to cvs she did. And then next thing he knows, I've got like $40 worth of drugstore makeup and I'm going, I love you, honey. <laughs> but Milani Bake blushes, so, so good. Yes. So good. That's so why good. I have this next one to talk to you about, which is Delicioso Pink. This is a super, super bright, like, God, just gorgeous, gorgeous pink color. It looks pretty crazy Ooh. right there. Fancy. Fancy. Right there. Oh, that's pretty. I love this one. Milani baked blushes are just, they are amazing. So Absolutely outstanding. I love them. Which is why we have more Milani blushes to talk Heck to you yeah. about. I only have one more to talk about. This is the uh, Milani powder blush in Tea Rose. This is from their like rose powder blush beautifulness with this freaking pattern on it that kills me every time I look at it. Isn't that gorgeous? I've used the crap out of this thing and that pattern ain't going away. Like, uh -huh. I love it. And I have an obsession with anything called tea rose. She does. The it's kind of right strange. There. I super love anything called tea rose, and these. I need to get more of them. I go to grab more of them, but then I I always put them back because I try to be on a no buy a lot. <laughs> so I'll talk about the two that I have because I have tea rose, but then I have the other two. I believe there's three released total. This one right here is romantic rose, and then this one right here is coral cove so pretty and that rose pattern like at first i did not want to use these because i didn't want to mess up that rose pattern but that rose pattern ain't going nowhere yeah so absolutely stunning you can find these for i think they're less than six bucks at walmart so nice so pretty so pigmented just I just go back to walmart gorgeous. they had them when we were just there we were just at walmart didn't buy any groceries though let's talk about this guy this is something i picked up on clearance for a dollar forty, yeah, dollar forty. This is a Revlon. I think they're called the Shimmer Brick Palettes or Shimmer Strip Palettes, something like mm -hmm. that. And this is in the shade something, something. Rose Glow. This is in the shade Rose Glow. Pick this up at Smith's on clearance. This is more like a blush topper. It's right there. Mm -hmm. Versus an actual like blush, but it does give like a nice like very light pink glimmer to the face and I I mean I've seen these at CVS and Walgreens and Walmart and they're they range anywhere from like nine to thirteen bucks and I got it for a dollar forty. You know 
Dollar Dollar 40. All right, so I have one more that I guess this is considered, I guess it's high end. It's a cargo blush. I totally forgot about this, but I picked this up at Burlington, so I didn't really spend all that much money on it. This is the blush there. I think these are the water resistant blushes. Yeah, in Los Cabos, Ooh. which is a beautiful like peachy color, peachy pink color, but with like a gold shimmer to it. I don't know if this is supposed to be a dupe for NARS um, orgasm, probably, but um, because I don't own that one. Right there. Um, but it's very pretty. I love it. It's a great color. Very pretty summery color. Okay, this next one that I picked up is the Maybelline Blush in Pink Weave. This has a really cool pattern. I hope you're gonna be able to see it. It looks like things, like it literally looks like it's been woven together. It's really, really cool. And I really like this. I found this at Grocery Outlet Bargain Market. It's a really light, light, light pink color. So it works better when I don't have much color, like from being out in the sun or something. But it is like a really pretty, maybe you can see it. No, probably not, it's very faint. But it's absolutely beautiful and I think I got it for like $1.99 at Grocery Outlet Bargain Market. My next two are from NYX. And I have the color Peach and Desert Rose. I love these two shades. These are, I think, two of my first purchases ever from NYX. So, I don't know that they sell these anymore because I think they've just taken over with those the new HD blushes. But you could probably, at least at Ulta, you can still get these, I believe, at like your CVS or yeah. something like that. Yeah. But these blushes are absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Word. And I happen to have another one of those in the shade Mocha. I heard Mocha's about 13. this blush from, I believe it was Fleur de Force. I heard about this from her. She had like hauled it like last summer and she was like, it's amazing. So I had to buy it and I love it. It's a really great, great blush, great blush. This next one is a huge favorite of mine and it was from a brand that I'd never really been interested in until I saw this. And this is the Artisan Color Baked Blush from Black Radiance and this is in Raspberry. This color is absolutely outstanding. This is another dark, like very wine colored blush. It like stains. It doesn't even like, Jeez, it doesn't just like put powder on your face. It's like a stain. It's absolutely stunning right here on the side of my thumb. Look at that shiz. Gorgeous and very, very, very inexpensive. All right, the next one that I has here, this is the L'Oreal Hopeful Hue Sheer Cream Blush in Color of Hope. She has a Look at that. These we found at the Dollar Dollar Tree, y'all. Yep. And this is just a beautiful sort of, like what, how would you describe that color? A rosy color, like dusty a rose. rosy, like a dusty rose color with shimmer. It's a cream blush. Mm -hmm. It's really, really pretty. It feels kind of weird. Like it almost feels like powdery. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Cause it's kind of sheer. It's kind of sheer, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it is really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. And I like to wear it underneath powder blush. Uh, all right, so the next one I'm gonna talk about is this e.l.f. blush. Mm. I think Jessica has this one too. What color? This is in Pink Passion. This Word is a very bright, like cool toned, like blue based pink. It's absolutely stunning and bright and like bam. Bam to your cheeks, yo. Bam on your cheeks. I have a ton of these. I think this might be my favorite kind of blush are the bright blue based pinks. Me too, I really like these a lot. Three dollars. So, these are three bucks at Target, Walmart, Elf.com, stuff, or at Eyeslipspace.com, yes. stuff like that. My next Elf blushy blush. This is the um, Studio Blush in Candid Coral. This is a really pretty, like, peachy pink with um, peachy shimmer pink. in it. Peachy pink. Right there. Peachy pink. It's peachy. It's peachy. It's peachy and it's pink. And I picked this guy up when we were doing our thirty-five dollar outfit and makeup challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I picked this guy up then, and I really do love it. It gives a nice like sort of goldeny peach glow to the skin, which looks very pretty. Okay, so I'm almost done. Jeez. We're getting close to the end of the road here. So this right here is, um, I think this is my newest blush. My husband bought this for me. This is one of the Maybelline Fit Me blushes, and this is in 310 Deep Wine. Mm -hmm. Look at how pretty that color is. I've hauled this, I've talked about it before. It is an absolutely beautiful deep wine shade. It is not so crazy dark that if you were to use a light, like you're not gonna look like a clown. You, you need to make sure you use a bit of a light hand with it. But look, look how that, you know, it was on my finger and then look how it, it shears out. Yeah, nicely. it shears out nicely and it blends nicely. These Fit Me blushes are very nice. Very, very good. 
All right, this next one, I could smack her for. I bought what she told me to buy. Um, I had placed an elf order and then I had seriously regretted not buying one of their HD blushes. And so she was all like, I'm going to Target. And I said, well, if you see one of their HD blushes, will you pick it up? She said, what shade do you want? I said, I don't know, something bright and pretty. And what she picked up was this shade, Diva. Which it doesn't look like much in this little tube. It's kind of bright, kind of pretty. Mm -hmm. It's exactly what she asked me for, bright and pretty. Okay. If you have seen the My Husband Does My Makeup tag with my lovely, amazing husband, Christopher, you would know what he did to my face with this blush. There it is right there, that little blob. Again, doesn't look like much <laughs> until there. <laughs> it's exactly what she asked me for. She said bright and pretty. I'm terrified of this blush. Like I've tried to use it with stipple brushes. I, I, can't, I can't wear it without looking like a clown, but I'm obsessed with this color. So I need to figure out how the fudge to use this because it's gorgeous. Like, look at that, that is beautiful. Maybe put it on my lips. I don't freaking know. I really love it. But, like, I wasn't expecting that when I said bright and pretty. And she went for the shade Diva. She said bright and pretty, so I bought her bright and pretty. She sure did. I have three right here I have of one. the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blushers. That's what they're called. The blushers. The blushers. Because so. Fancy. This one is pearlescent pink. Which is what I have. Which I think this one is also supposed to be a dupe for NARS Orgasm. Isn't everything these days? I swear. Everything is right there. Very pretty. Very pretty. Very pinky soft. peach color with gold shimmer to it. These are very soft. These are very inexpensive. I love the way these things feel. Yeah. They're very pigmented. They last a decent amount of time, especially for being like, how much are these? Like $2.99 or something, yeah, something like, that. like that. Super inexpensive. They cheap. Way cheap. Way cheap. And then I have... This one in Mellow Wine, Ooh. which is very pretty. This is a more of a cool, like, it's a wine color, but it's not super dark. I could use some wine right about now. Word. Har, har, har. Word. And then I have this one in Heather Silk. Man, I ran through all mine real quick, didn't I? Yes, you and did. Heather so Heather Silk is my favorite of the three that I own. I believe there's more shades, but I've only ever been able to find these three. So, I love Heather Silk. It's very pretty. I need to get more of those. They're, they're oh gorgeous. Oh, oh my god. So, I have a thing for the cool tone bright pinks, and she apparently has a thing for like the cinnamony or like dark winey colors. Because yeah. that's like a dark wine shade. Do you see that right there on my wrist? Right there. Right there. Look at that shade. Gorgeous. Right there. Okay. My final elf blush. This is a baked blush in Rich Rose. Rich Rose. This is stunning. stunning. I super love this. I bought this at Walmart with my husband. This is a, um, it's kind of like a brownie, like a, a brownie pink color. It looks really gorgeous on the mm -hmm. cheeks. I mm -hmm. very much love it. Mm -hmm. And that I think the day I bought this, I think was the day that he realized that the makeup love was real and it wasn't going anywhere. That it's never gonna stop, never gonna stop. Never gonna stop, never gonna stop. Rob Zombie, no, no, no. Okay, this next one that I'm gonna talk about is actually um, my longest owned blush of this collection and this is the CoverGirl classic color you could tell by the packaging this thing's old as hell um, blush and this is in rose silk and it's a very pretty like rose color blush I love it it's it's a very nice color every time I go to do a makeup clean out I think about tossing it and then I'm like no I can't do it nah. I've had it for way too long I love it they've changed their package packaging since but I won't get rid of my rose these are the Physicians Formula, and do not dig your nail into it. I'm trying real hard to do that. This is the Happy Booster in Natural mm -hmm. Blush. This one I very mm -hmm. rarely ever use. I don't know why, because it's absolutely beautiful. I think it's just a beautiful, very natural color, and it looks really nice and healthy on the cheeks. And then this one is the Powder Blush Palette Mineral Glow Pearls in Rose Pearl. This is beautiful. This is just like a really, like look at that, look at how it glows on my finger. This is a beautiful, glowy, cool tone pink, actually. And I freaking love it. She freaking love it. 
right there on my hand. You can kind of see it glow in there. Mm -hmm. My very last blush that I own is absolutely my favorite, so I'm not going to spend a bunch of time talking about it because I talk about it constantly. She raves. She raves. This is my L'Oreal True Match blush in Rosy Outlook. Of all of the blushes that I have just shown you, this is my favorite blush. There is no other blush that I love the way that I love this one. I love all my blushes. What? Anyway, you get me. I love all my blushes, but I love this one the most of all of the blushes that I have. Of all of her blushes. All the blushes in the world. That's the one who she loves the most. Okay, on to my last two. This is a Wet n Wild lipstick blush and eyeshadow all in one. Not Wet n Wild, excuse me, LA Colors. Lipstick, eyeshadow, blush, all in one stick. It's this really pretty, sort of like blue, like purpley color. I don't know. I don't even know what I would call that. Where the hell am I? I don't know either. But it's really, really shimmery. There it is right there. It's kind of like a purpley pink color. I super freaking love it. And I got this at the Dollar Dollar Tree, y'all. Okay, and my very final one is one that I contemplated cleaning out and then I swatched it and I was like, oh, hail to the no. This is one I picked up at um, the 99 cent store. This is by the brand Aziza. 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 Wait till you see these colors. They are very pretty. Like, how can I, how can I get rid of that? Bye. How can I get rid of that? Like, they are just absolutely beautiful. And I love them. I thought about getting rid of them, and I was, as soon as I swatched them, I was like, no, no, not happening. Not happening, not anytime soon. Never, ever, never, 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 never. They're a touch powdery, but they're beautiful. Look at that. I want them. Look at how pigmented those are. Are you shizzing me right now? Are you shizzing? Are you shizzing me right now? I freaking love those, and they're good. They're good. They're good. They're good. I think we're done. And that's it. That's all my blushes. And this video is forever freaking long. Yeah, well, we have a lot to show, and there's two of us, so, you know. Hi, keep that in mind. Yes, please. Um, so, if you guys enjoyed looking at this portion of our collection, please feel free to give us a thumbs up. Yes, and please subscribe if you have not yet. Click. Button's Thumbs right up. there. Yes. It's fun and easy. And we're going to keep filming more of our collection stuff because we want to share with you guys. Because we, we watch collection videos and we love them because yes. we're nosy. Very mm -hmm. nosy. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. We will see you guys very soon with our next video. With the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.